that door is locked. Madam Romansky? Madam Helena Romansky? Who are you? What do you want? I'm sorry to disturb you, ma'am. My name's Kate Walker. I've come on behalf of Frank Malkovich. Ah, oh, Malkovich, the old son of a gun. Are you one of his relatives? <laughs> Not exactly. He's a good friend of my mother's. He told me you might be here in Arrowbad. I'm American, a lawyer. To what do I owe your visit? You have come so far. It must be important. Indeed it is. I have very delicate and pressing business to attend to. I have just left... Later, my dear, later. I have a slight headache. This hotel must be pinched, so I have to go in. Please, could you be so kind as to call my valet? Your valet? Of course. Madame Romansky. So, is James coming or isn't he? Don't tell me you haven't caught him yet. Please, ring for my valet. We will continue this conversation inside. Mm -hmm. Please, I absolutely must find... Miss Romansky! Oh, yes, I'm sorry. She managed to lie her way in here. Don't matter how vigilant you are, there's always one. Uh, but it won't happen again. She'll be out on her ear before you can say, um... Uh, I hope she hasn't upset you too much. Oh, Felix. Stop being such a grizzly bear. This woman is my guest. She's your guest? But that ain't possible. This scandal didn't even know you three hours ago. Be quiet, Felix, before you offend someone. Miss Romansky, please. This maniac turned up earlier and tried to wreck the fountain. If it wasn't for the... I said enough, Felix. Please treat Miss Walker with the respect befitting one of my friends. Don't touch and don't swear. Have I made myself clear, Mr. Smetana? Yes, yes, crystal clear, Madam Romansky. Please do accept my humble apologies. Very good, Felix. You may go now. Madam Romansky? So, is James coming or?
Doesn't look like that works. If that's... I don't need to use this con- I don't need to use- Hello there. Good afternoon. I'm looking for Madame Romansky. 330? Is it po- As you will. Can you take me to Helena Romansky? Not at this hour, miss. Madame will still be watching the sea at the end of the pier. So? Madam knows perfectly well that during this season I don't go down to the pier. My wheelwork goes dicky under the double corrosive action of the salt and sand winds. Listen, you can hear them sweeping up and down the beach and out to sea. We call it the salt wind here. It'll drive us all crazy one of these days. Come on, just make a little effort. No, I'll stay here and make ready for Madame in case she needs me. She can be so unpredictable, such violent swings of mood. Do you know Madame Romansky well? I have been in Madame's service since my inception. So you must have seen a thing or two. That must have been amazing to take care of such a great lady on all her journeys, be a part of all her recitals. I was but a twinkle in my creator's eye. Madame required my services shortly after her arrival here at the Hotel Tronsky. Do you know Komkalsgrad? I left my train there with its engineer. You'll never guess what. It's an automaton just like you. There's even a family resemblance. Firstly, I would say that I do not know Komkalsgrad. Secondly, I have never taken a train. Thirdly, 
the existence of another automaton with such a degree of finesse as myself appears very unlikely. Madam has always assured me that I am a unique model, a gift from a former admirer. Yeah, but you two really do look alike. And you know, I miss him. Why is he not here with his train, then? I would never allow Madame Romansky to leave on her own. It's a long story, but hopefully I'll see him again soon. Such attachment is very touching, miss. Have you ever heard of a Mr. Vorlberg? The name is not entirely foreign to me. Really? You know Hans Vorlberg? That I cannot say, miss. Madame has forbidden me from talking about him and even mentioning his name. Why? Nostalgia, sadness, medication. Call it what you humans will. We never had this conversation, did we, miss? Madame would be very angry to learn that I know, and now you know as well. Don't worry. Mum's the word. Well, I'm going, James. See you later, maybe. It would be a pleasure to see you again, miss. No point weighing myself down. No point weighing myself down. No point when no point I don't need to use 